All right, I think we are good to go. Look at these crazy white circles around my eyes. That's because I have some new lighting for my studio. Welcome to my new office. I'm gonna be doing a lot more tips, tricks, and tutorials for you guys. I haven't done these in a while, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So I have here two of my spear guns. One of them is longer than the other, and I'm gonna be talking about which one you should start off with. You're gonna get the most bang for your buck. It's the most versatile length of a spear gun you should buy. So let's get started. Aloha guys, Justin here with another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we try to give you all the best fishing and diving tips here in the Aloha State. I hope you guys are all having an amazing Thanksgiving week. And just a quick announcement, we are launching a bunch of new products on our website, fishanddivehawaii.com that will be on sale specifically for Black Friday weekend. So you guys need to go check it out, fishanddivehawaii.com. Link will be in the description. And how's about my no shave November facial hair? This is about as good as it gets, don't worry. It'll be gone soon, guys. <laughs> so I get this question pretty often, and that is what spear gun length should I buy when I'm just getting started? Now there's a ton of different options out there. 75 centimeters, 90 centimeters, 100, 110, 120, so on and so forth. I'm gonna be telling you guys what length I think is perfect for Hawaii spear fishing. It's gonna give you the most bang for your buck, and I'll even tell you which brand I prefer using. Now, if you guys are complete beginners, I highly recommend you start off with a pole spear before purchasing a spear gun. I go over a ton of reasons why in this video right over here. You can check it out. If you've already watched that, if you've already got some spear fishing experience, then let's talk about what size you need to get when you're just getting started. A real quick, I do recommend you start off getting a pipe gun versus a wood gun for reasons I'll talk about in a future video, but um, we're just going to be talking about pipe gun lengths because they're usually in metric system versus imperial system. Pipe guns go in centimeters, wood guns go in inches, so we're going to be talking about centimeters and what length you should get. All right, so the best spear gun length that I recommend you guys get is a 90 centimeter. This right here is a Pathos 90 Open Pro. My personal spear gun, I love it. I've shot a lot of fish with this spear gun. And I'll talk to you guys about why the 90 centimeter is the best way to go. When I first got started spearfishing, after using a pole spear for quite some time, I upgraded to a spear gun and got a 75 centimeter Cressy sub with the metal wishbone. The ones I do not recommend because I felt like I was gonna cut off my finger every single time I used it. But even when I was using the gun, I outgrew it really fast. After a couple months of using that gun, I was already trying to sell it on Craigslist, trying to find a new gun. And at that time, I wish I would have just waited and bought a little bit bigger spear gun knowing that I was gonna outgrow that gun really fast. Now I know a lot of people think that you wanna start off with a small gun like a 75 centimeter, but the truth is when you use those size of spear guns, sure, it's really good to shoot the whole fish, but you're pretty much getting the same distance as you would with a three prong. When you're using a larger gun like a 110, it's gonna be harder to load, and it's actually gonna be a lot more dangerous using that gun, especially if the only experience you had with spear fishing before that was using a three prong or a pole spear. That's why I think the 90 centimeter is a perfect compromise between a smaller gun like a 75 centimeter and a larger gun like a 110 centimeter. Sure, you won't be able to make those longer shots for uhus, mu, kala, all that kind of stuff, but you will be able to get better at spearfishing because it's gonna force you to bring the fish in a lot closer so you can land a shot with a smaller gun. Now let's say you wanna target these smaller whole fish that you would be able to shoot with this 75 centimeter. You can always just load your 90 centimeter with just one band and it's gonna give you the perfect amount of distance for targeting these smaller, shorter distance fish without having to worry about your shaft getting stuck inside a rock or hidden inside of a cave and bending or something. And another thing with starting with a 90 centimeter is that if you want to change sizes with spear guns depending on your spear fishing needs, it's easy to move up to a 110 or 115 and it's easy to downgrade to like an 85 or 75 centimeter. It gives you a nice in between, a nice middle playing ground. Now with this gun right here, I've pretty much caught everything that you can in the water. I've caught big uhus, I've caught nice sized goldfish, I've caught coles, maninis, all the small reef fish with this very gun without having to use a big gun or having to use a really small gun. And if you're using a 90 centimeter gun and you're able to catch fish like uhus, ukus, mu, especially here on Oahu, that puts you on a whole different playing field versus starting out with a 110 or 75 centimeter because using a 90 centimeter and catching fish like that takes a lot of patience. You're gonna learn 
fish behaviors and you're going to be able to pick better shots because you're going to be waiting for the fish to come closer to you so it's really going to help you guys evolve as spear fishermen at a much faster rate now as a diver with about eight nine years of experience right now i've kind of found the perfect combo with this 90 centimeter gun and this big 120 centimeter gun this is the largest gun that i've owned personally it's a nice cuttlefish one that my buddy sent me from okinawa look at that it's got a reel and everything so if i want to target bigger game even some small blue water fish i can with this 120 but pretty much for all the other reef fish that i'm trying to shoot and target I'm using this 90 centimeter gun. So like I said, I'm gonna link up the spear gun that I use, which is the Pathos Open Pro, but I'm also gonna link up 90 centimeters as well as 95 centimeters with different price points. So you can pick whichever one you want. If you feel like you're gonna be targeting larger fish somewhere down the line, go with the 95 centimeter. It also depends on your budget, so go check that out in the description. So that's it for today's video. I hope it helps some of you guys decide which spear gun you're gonna to wanna to buy. And if you want more videos like this, the tips, tricks, and tutorials, I really wanna make more of these to help as much people as I can. So if you guys like them, please drop a like and comment down below. If not, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to go check out our Black Friday sale. Shoots Mahalo, see you later, bye-bye.